Alright, so today's October 4th, 2015, uh, week three of training, OTQ. I ramped up my mileage real quick from 50 miles a week, 100 miles a week, hopefully 105 to 110 this week. Uh, I wouldn't recommend trying that at home, but uh, legs are getting nice and tired. Today we're going to do an up-tempo workout, a 10 mile progression run is what we call it. Uh, on our Sage Running website, Sage Running Pace Spectrum, this is uh, up-tempo intensity, which means you're starting at a, a easier intensity than your true lactate threshold or tempo run intensity because you're going farther. You're doing a pretty long run and we call it a progression run because you, you could speed up as you go along into it. Uh, so maybe at the end you're approaching lactate threshold but you're really starting out uh, at a more moderate intensity. So you're looking at overall intensity of a, kind of an aerobic steady state about 78 to lower 80 percentile for max heart rate effort uh, and then at the end it could approach lactate threshold which is a little bit higher but because of the duration it's hard. It's good marathon, great marathon training workout. Uh, I'll probably be doing it slower than marathon pace, but if you're over a three hour marathoner, you definitely can hit uh, marathon pace for an extended period of time. Uh, it's up here at altitude on this bike path, it's a little too intense for me, I'd be developing too much lactate. Uh, so we'll see what we can do, but we did this in college under Robert Rojo Johnson and JK. It was a feel good progression run where you kind of just go by feel and progress into it. Uh, at Hanson's we had a forced cut down where we'd do like 550, 540, 530. Uh, the body doesn't like linear cut downs like that as much, I found. So kind of go by feel, go by heart rate. Uh, make sure it's not a really hard effort and you're not developing too much lactic acid. Good running form. We'll try to negative split it. It's five miles net downhill out on the bike path. We're up by the library. So downstream, then I'll try to negative split it. Coming back uphill be a little harder, but uh, it's not supposed to be that hard of a workout. Just the, the distance will make it hard. So here we go.
All right, so that's an example of not how to do a progressive run. I totally, I negative split it, but barely, and it was a little too hard, but amateur mistakes start too fast, went too hard too early. If you think you went out too slow, you probably still went out too fast. Uh, if you think you went out too fast, you definitely went out too fast. So that's not the way to do it. I had to force it a little, but trying to force myself into OTQ shape. So hope your fall training and racing is going well. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Uh, mad props to Sandy for filming, and stay tuned for more Vita to Max Productions.